Yeah. Hello and welcome. I decided to come up in here and chance it. You can see this big blow down. Look at the root wad on that tree. Yeah, it's a mess in here, but it's really opened up since I've been in here with that tree down and the next draw over. The wind's blowing one down. It really opened this up in here. And uh, I wanted to come up in here because I know I got uh, deoxygenated blood, FE202 up here, be black blood. And it's in the sandstone. You know, I told you before, this is flesh. That's why there's, it's all sandstone. But then I'm gonna show you some deoxygenated blood in it, okay? And there we have a lot more sulfur there. Boy, this has really changed. Oh, it's steep too. Now you look at the size of that root wad on this tree. We're gonna take a look at it. And then you tell me Devil's Tower is a tree with no root wad system to hold it up. See, trees have to have a, a big root wad system on them to hold them up in high winds. Look how tall this one is. So in high winds, it's gonna need a massive root system to hold it up. Devil's Tower has no characteristics of a tree whatsoever. No annular growth rings. There's no tension wood, no compression wood. On and on and on, I could go on and on. Devil's Tower is not a stump, never was a tree. And I'll be doing a video on it because I have a whole bunch of stuff to show you on it. All right, this is steep, jeez. Boy, I really opened up, a tree fell down over here. And you can really see up in there now too. This used to be really pretty enclosed. And it is steep. Whoo! Look at the size of that root ball on this tree. Imagine how big the root watch system would be on Devil's Tower. And there is no root wads. There is no flared butt. Hinge wood, I could go on and on on Devil's Tower. And why? Because I've been in forestry my entire life and I'm 60. I've been dealing with trees, cellulose fibers for a long time. Wow! Ah! Whoo! She's steep! Wow! Look at the seams in there. All right. Boy, it's really opened up. Now what I wanted to talk about was <laughs> peer review. Everybody's, oh, this has got to be peer reviewed, peer review this, that. Let me tell you something. Peer review, human peer, peer review is temporary. The only peer review that's going to matter is God's peer review. That's the only peer review that's going to matter. Because it doesn't matter if you've got every diploma there is in the world. You're teaching at the top level academically. It's all temporary and will pass away. Now here's the thing, if you're an academic or anything like that, see that black? And this is sandstone. What's that black doing there in sandstone like shale? Anyway, if you're an academic or a geologist, you know, and you spend thousands and thousands of dollars on diplomas and all your schooling. It's all going to pass away. It's only temporary. It's not going to go with you. Here's the sad part. Upon your death and your funeral, look at that black. And, the, and we got the sulfur. Upon the death and your funeral, afterwards they're going to be cleaning out your house, where you lived, packing up all your stuff. And throwing all your diplomas and everything away because they're going to be useless to everybody else. All your rocks, everything, they're going to toss them out. So you see, everything you have is temporary. Look at this pink in here. Everything you have is temporary. Only certain things are going to pass on. And that's going to be your soul and your spirit. So how much time did you spend seeking God? Now, look at this. This is blood. This is... It's almost like a shale. This would be something they'd say, well, this is in, in volcanism. This ain't volcanism. This is all sandstone. What's this doing here? Huh? 
Look at all this sulfur leaching out. What, what is it doing here? Ouch! See the black in here? Boy. You see that? That is deoxygenated blood. Okay? And this is all sandstone. This is not sandstone. It's almost like a shale. Okay? I'm going to take a few of them home with me, put them in my pocket, and take a look at them. Um, but that's what we got going on. And this is all... I shouldn't be standing here. <laughs> but that's what you got here. Blood mixed in. There's blood there. Deoxygenated blood, blood there, and blood there. Okay? Sandstone here. Sandstone here. The black. The seam of black. The seam of black. Okay? See it right here? Look at the red in it, too, right there. There is some oxygenated blood there. Right there. Or some sign. See this red? But that's black deoxidated. Now, I don't know if it was oxygenated, then, you know, it turned black from all the oxygen, oxidation. I don't know. Upon death, I have no idea. But you can see right along there. And this is all sandstone. Alright, let's run over there and take a look at that. Look at the size of this root wad. But anyway, my wife, she works in home health for 25 years. Okay? Everybody that comes into her facility is basically going to be dying. That's where they put them. But they're able to come and go as they want. It's not like your regular lockdown. She also has a memory care side. People that don't have their memory, Alzheimer's, dementia, stuff like that. Now, in the last 25 years, she's seen, we figured out, close to 300 people die. Of those 300 people, and I'm talking every walk of life, teachers, uh, on and on and on. And every one of them, at the end of their life, my wife says, they're not worried about geology, they're not worried about academics, they're not worried about science. She said they're worried about what's going to happen to them. And a lot of them, they're on, look at the black in there. A lot of them, they're on uh, uh, hospice. On their way out and they're sure not worried about what they did in their life and about academia yeah uh, that's for darn sure let me tell you she said that's the last thing on their mind none of them are yelling for a, a geology book or anything like that look at this in here see that red in there that is oxygenated blood those red globules wherever they are coming across there And then we got some more of the taffany. Because this was flesh, folks. This was flesh. Look at that. That's all sandstone. Look at the size of this root wad. Now, Devil's Tower would have a root wad so big. And you know if there's no annual growth rings, yearly growth rings on Devil's Tower, that means it would have had to have grown in one year that size. One year. <laughs> But this is what a root system, and the cambium layer, this is actually part of the cambium layer, the root system. It's actually part of the cambium layer on a tree. There's no cambium layer at all on Devil's Tower. So how did it get its nutrients? See the root system? These roots are part of the cambium layer to get its nutrients. Look at the size of this tree. And I'm standing on the root wad. Devil's Tower has no root wad. Because it's not a tree. People have no clue about cellulose fibers and how they actually work. Look at how that piece there is just perfectly flat. Look at those up in there. All right, so that's what I had to say about peer review. The only peer review that's going to matter is God's peer review when you draw your last breath. He, he's not going to, you're not going to be able to stand before him and say, do you realize I've been peer reviewed by humanity, by human beings? He's going to go, yeah, that's been the problem all along. <laughs> ah, let's go look at it. I'm going to do another video here behind this one shortly because I'm going to get some uh, feedback from you guys because I'm thinking about starting. There's that black seam. See that? There we go right there. There's more of it. This shaley stuff. This is... 
either vein blood or just got deoxygenated in the air or something like that. I don't know. But this is, this ain't sandstone, folks. And why is it right here in all this sandstone? Huh? Why is this here a seam and all this sandstone? Why? <laughs> I still haven't figured out what these are. But they're like nodules or something, you know, they're not they're not veins or arteries, none of that stuff. Okay, I'm trying to snake my way across over here. I'll do a, I'm gonna do a video pretty soon on Devil's Tower because I just split a ton of like eight species of, of wood I've been splitting and I'll show you annual growth rings and how they actually look how they work cellulose fibers all that To show you that many things that people are telling you are trees and stuff Are not Whoa, look at that in there. Holy cow I like to crawl up this to draw but man something comes down. It's gonna wipe me out because I'll never get out of the way in time Alright, this is as far as I'm going to go today. I might walk up in there and land at a patch of taffany. Okay, I'm going to crawl up in there. Wow. Look at that in there. Got taffany all over it. It is really steep in here. I'm trying to go over here and look at some of this taffany. <laughs> so you see, as human beings, we're really fooling ourselves. Thinking we have it made, got this and that. I've done this, I've done that. Yeah, well, it's all temporary. Average life span is 72 years. Then what? Can't take none of it with you. No diplomas. No, nothing like that's going to go with you. And upon your deathbed and the grip of death beating at the door, you're not going to be worried about your geology, your man science any of it it's not gonna matter anymore what does matter is how much did you seek the Lord how much did you seek your Creator none well maybe that's about how much time he'll put into you you didn't seek me maybe I won't seek you I don't know just asking questions but I knew I do know for those that say ah oh, he's not real I don't want to be around him. He's going to make that possible. Look at all this taffany. Oh, look, it's starting to rain. Got a lot of taffany here. All this is covered in it. Oh, man. But notice how they're all in. That's in a block. That's in a block. That's in a block. That's in kind of a block down there you know that's in a piece that's in a piece it's not just all one piece you know man i'm in a dangerous spot okay, i'm out of here oh. This is steep. Steeper than a cow's face. All right. And I wanted to, I'm getting ready to start another channel. And I'm gonna get into uh, some books I wanna read. I got six books. I just ordered two more because someone kind of stole the last two I had. And I wanna do some readings that are gonna blow your mind. Of what's behind witchcraft what's behind it's Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 we don't fight against flesh and blood but we fight against these forces of darkness these principalities and heavenly places heavenly places stands for different dimensions different worlds okay man all right I'm out of here have a great day and bye bye all right, I got this home. I wanted to check it out and compare it to the what they call basalt columnars, but they're actually tendon fibrils. 
in one of my videos, I brought a chunk comb, those tendon fibrils, uh, Skinner's Butte. I brought home this. That's a chunk of it. I want to compare it to that vein blood or that FE202 blood I just took out of that sandstone. It's not even the same material, which I was hoping that'd be the case. <laughs> Otherwise, we got a problem. We could, you know, because this isn't magma. This is not magma. Never was lava. Neither one of these are. This is sandstone that I took this out of. Okay, just now you watch me do it in the video. This is the sandstone. This is that black blood. See how brittle it is? See, they would have to say somehow magma got in there and squished out or something, you know? And <laughs> That's not what it is, man. They're wrong. This shouldn't even be there in sandstone, okay? This should not be there. Here's more of it here. But it's real fine, super, super fine. And this is a lot more coarse. But neither one of them were ever magma or lava. So, all right.